Welcome back to MrHanson.net math videos. This time around we're looking at systems of equations, specifically the elimination method. The nice thing about elimination is you don't have to worry about solving for either x or y. The main task is just to get either the x variable or the y variable to cancel out by adding or subtracting. Now how do you decide whether to add or subtract? Well it depends on what situation you have. The first thing though is to make sure that either the x terms or the y terms have the same coefficient. Upon inspection we can see here that our x variables have a coefficient of 3 and 2 respectively. That's not going to help us right now. Now over here our y variables have coefficients of 5 in both equations. This is a plus 5, this is a minus 5. You can see that those are opposite numbers. Opposite numbers become 0 when you add. So therefore, this is just a simple addition. Here we go. 3x plus 2x gives us 5x plus 5y minus 5y. Cancel to 0. And we have 14 plus 1 is 15. Therefore, we have 5x equals 15. Solving for x, you get x equals 3. Now, that is your x part of the solution. Remember, we want the intersection point x comma y. To get the y value, you would simply replace x equals 3 into either here or here and solve. Now, moving right along. Sometimes the situation is a little bit different. In this problem, again we do our inspection. The x variables each have coefficients of 6. Well, that puts us in really good shape with just one thing to bear in mind. We can't add here because if we did 6x plus 6x, we'd get 12x. Our whole goal is to get our variable to drop out. In this instance, we want the x variable to drop out. So what do we do here? How do we get x to go away? Well, adding doesn't work, so we're going to have to subtract. So notice, I put in a subtract symbol, and then I put everything after it in parentheses. That's going to tell me that everything gets subtracted. Students make a mistake by just subtracting the 6x, but no, everything in the problem must get subtracted. So here we go. 6x take away 6x is 0. They cancel. Now we have 2y take away negative 4y. Take away a negative is adding. So 2y plus 4y is 6y equals, and now we have 8 take away negative 10. Taking away negative makes it positive, so 8 plus 10 is 18. Now you can see that we have 6y equals 18, dividing both sides by 6. You get y equals 3. y equals 3 is your y coordinate, or rather 3 is your y coordinate. How do we get our x? Well, simply substitute in 3 for y in either of these two original equations. Now, those are the easy examples where your coefficients are basically